So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones toward the floor, hips nice and open, shoulders back and down, and arms relaxing. Crown up toward the ceiling, spread your toes, and just get centered and grounded, core activated for support on your spine. And then just focus inward, breathe deep, exhale tension, and inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level and stretch it out. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back, keep the heart open. Inhale out to the front, shoulders still down, and then bring your hands behind you, clasp them, lift your heart, and stretch your head back. Spread your toes and lengthen your spine. Exhale, pivot at your hips coming over, hands up, head down, and just relax. Move your head around, get your neck releasing. And then lift your sitting bones for a stretch on the back of your legs. Knees bent, chin in, ribs up and sitting bones down and just wind back all the way up and into the back bend again in that upper body, heart high. Head back and just stretch your spine while it's in the back bend. And then inhale upright and release your arms and just feel a little more circulation going through the spine, through that whole upper body. And again, arms reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front and clasp your hands the opposite way behind as you lift your heart, press your hands toward the floor, get a good chest opening and pivot at your hips over. And again, just deep in there, spread your toes, lift your sitting bones, move your head, lift the ribs and drop the sitting bones. And again, just from the bottom of the spine, come on all the way, winding into the upper body back bend. And again, stretch out and relax. Keep breathing. And inhale upright, release your arms again and once more, just focus inward, noticing your response. And then arms out again, shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders, and clasp them. Bring your arms next to your ears, stretch everything nice and straight, and lean to the side, no twist, getting those ribs opening, stretch, pushing the foot you're leaning away from down. Remember, you're contracting on the side you're leaning toward and you're stretching on the opposite side. And then inhale back to the center and switch your arms. And again, spreading your toes, everything straight to the front, no twist, don't lean forward, just lean over to the side and stretch. Keep breathing, keep lengthening, keep that top shoulder back and the foot pressing down. And then inhale back upright and release back to mountain pose. Feel the sides a little more open as we get ready for our twist. Remember, stretch the spine apart so that the bones can move. Arms again, shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, and just clasp your elbows. Stretch it up, breathe in, exhale into the twist. So turn your whole body to the side. And then again, stretch up. Lengthening, exhale over, and just deepen as far as you want to go into your twist on the side. Spread your toes, just relax, lift your sitting bones. Take a few breaths and relax. And then slowly work your way up. And again, in the twist into the upper body back, bend not the lower back. Heart high, shoulders, shoulder blades down, elbows back, and breathe. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around, and again, pull your arms near your ears and stretch the spine apart, and exhale to the opposite twist. And again, breathe in as you lengthen, and exhale over. And again, just deepen as far into that position as you're ready to do today. 
Lift your sitting bones, feel what's going on through the back of your body. And on an inhalation, come on back up and lift your heart, shoulders down, elbows back. And again, be gentle on that low back while you're twisted. Take a few breaths. And when you're ready, inhale to the top, exhale around to the center. Arms up into extended mountain. Just sink into your feet evenly. And then let's swan dive forward. So turn the palms out and down. Come parallel to the floor and stretch everything straight. And then just drop into ragdoll and lift your sitting bones. Take a breath or two. And relax. Go in deeper if you want to with your hands behind your legs. Get a little extra on that low back. And then arms back to the center and wind all the way from the bottom of the spine, all the way to the top. And bring the shoulders back and down and the heart up as you look toward the ceiling. And then back into mountain pose. Feel your spine again, a little bit more energized, ready to do some work. Hands to your heart, looking at them, bring your hands up, inhaling toward the ceiling. And just keep gazing at those thumbs and pull them back into a nice back bend, lifting your heart. Deepen as much or as little as you want. Exhale, follow your hands again down to your heart. Pivot on over into ragdoll. Tuck in, pull in if you want. And then arms sliding, hands up under your knees and into that halfway up stretch. Give a good lengthening. Exhale back down, palms together. And again, just wind your way, hands to your heart and into mountain pose. Bring your hands behind onto your back. Heels of your palms about shoulder blade level. And then press the palms, fingertips down toward your hips and pull your elbows toward each other. Just expand through that heart. And again, looking up, press the hands into your back for support and deepen again into a little back bend or a lot of back bend if you love it. And then chin toward your chest, coming back up. Release your arms and just feel a little more circulation across the top. And then let's do our pelvic tilts. So angle your toes out, bend your knees toward your toes, hands above your knees. Remember, no pressure in your hands, just position your shoulders above your toes as well. Stretch the spine long and then push the sitting bones back and the chest forward coming into your back bend really focusing on the heart. And then tuck the sitting bones down and forward, ribs pulling back, chin in a little bit, and look down between your toes. And just go through that range of motion, inhaling into the back bend, expanding the chest, exhaling, crunching in through the abdominals as you go into the forward bend. And just a few times, as fast or slow as you want to go, just feeling your whole body, breathing with it, working that spine. And then the next time you're forward, just pause and then sitting bones down and wind back up and again into mountain pose. Feel what's going on through your body, across the heart, through the whole spine. And then bring your arms up to shoulder level, fingertips together, elbows right across from each other at shoulder level. Pull the elbows back, still at shoulder level, fingertips separating, and then fingertips together, and then pull the arms way out and come back as far as it wants to and back to the center. And again, pulling back and together all the way to the back as far as it wants. Remember, personal practice, what's right for your shoulders and together. Back a little bit, back all the way. 
And coming back, check that those elbows are still shoulder level. Bring your palms together, inhale them up, and another little back bend through that upper body. Exhale, all your hands all the way down, pivot at the hips. And again, a nice ragdoll forward bend. Walk your hands over to one side, stretching the spine for a twist. And then back to the center. And then to the other side. And again, just stretch out in the twist. And back. And again, just hang there a moment. Move your head and neck around and chin in a circle. And then stop and circle the other way. And then arms to the center and palms together and inhale again. Oh, let's go all the way to the ceiling one more time. Chest high, thumbs back, and another back bend. And exhale, hands to your heart. And release again into mountain pose. Arms relaxed, spine straight. And we're going to bring the chin down into your chest. And look slightly down, get a stretch on the back of your neck. And then roll your chin over toward one shoulder. And then look up toward the ceiling, lifting your chin high. Push the head slightly back. Keep the shoulders even, facing forward, arms just relaxed. And then chin back down toward your shoulder. Roll the chin back into the center. Stretch again out through the top of your head, down into your feet. Feel the stretch and roll the chin to the other shoulder. And again, lift the chin up toward the ceiling. Heads pushing back just gently. Everything else just mountain pose, relaxing as you let that neck area get a good lift through the whole base of the spine or base of the skull, rather as you bring that chin up also. And then bring the chin back toward your shoulder and roll it to the center. And a little bit more, bringing one hand and then the other, just putting weight on the back of your head for a little bit extra stretch. And then release the hands again back to your side. This time, lift the chin. And all the way up toward the ceiling. But remember, keep stretching out through the base of your skull at the same time. So through that kind of indentation at the base of your skull, kind of lift it up while you're lifting your chin. Feel the back of the neck stretch. And then move your jaw. Forward and back, side to side, circles, kind of scrunch your face. And then release any tension in your face and tip the chin back parallelish to the floor and the crown high. Just feel the circulation a little bit more through that neck area. Take a moment and breathe. And then again, arms out to the sides at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, and look overhead as you bring them together. And swan dive forward. Pivot over at your hips all the way down into right and down. Hands up on your shins, halfway up, stretch your front. Whole spine and neck long. And then bend your knees and we'll transition to the floor. So come on down. Hips toward your heels, forehead toward the floor, and shoulders relaxing. Take a moment there, child's pose, just relaxing. Feel that spine getting good stretch, especially through that low back if you pull your knees toward each other. Take a few breaths. <clears throat> and then inhale and come on up. And we'll come into, uh, let's come into staff position. Legs out in front. <clears throat> in fact, I'm going to bring my legs to the end of the mat if yours aren't. Now we're going to do a little um, upper body opening. So the first thing we're going to do is just bring the hands next to your uh, fingertips, next to the back of your hips, and press your hands down into the floor. 
Rotate the shoulders back and down. Lift your heart and look up. We can have the <coughs> elbows straight or slightly bent, whatever feels right for your body. And just feel the heart opening the whole length of your neck and throat opening and looking up, kind of gently pushing your head back, but not too far. Just feel that whole upper body, especially across that chest and shoulder area, coming into a little bit of a back bend. Shoulder blades going down towards your waist. And just lift that area higher right across your heart. Take a few breaths. And then bring your chin down towards your chest again and release your arms. And just feel a little bit more opening across that upper body. We're going to take that one step further. So if that was enough for you, stick with that one perfectly good. Otherwise, we're going to bring the hands again about the same place, fingertips toward your body. Press into your hands. And this time, we're going to lift the hips up and come into a straight plank position, reverse plank position. So ankles, knees, hips, shoulder, everything lining up as you press down into the hands evenly and reach your head back. So the chin is slightly toward your chest. You're not pushing the chin up or back, but you're lengthening through the base of the skull again. And if you, at any point you need to put those hips back down, just feel free, just gently bring them to the floor. Otherwise, see if you can get the bottoms of your feet onto the floor. Everything is straight as you can and lift through the heart. And then if you haven't already, chin slightly toward your chest as you drop the sitting bones back down and come into your seated staff position again. And once again, just feel a little bit more through the arms and shoulders and heart area as you come into your staff position, straight up. Take a moment and breathe. And then activate your core. We're going to slowly roll down. So just onto the sacrum and then the lower ribs and then the shoulder blades and the shoulders and the head, everything down onto the mat into that reclined integration. Just let your whole body soften and sink. Pull your shoulders down toward the mat <clears throat> and lift your heart. And then we're going to use our hands a little differently. So we're going to roll over to the side and put your hand with the fingertips going up toward your neck. And then the hand coming down onto the floor as your body rolls back down. So a little shoulder opening there. So just feel that. Notice how that's working for you. And just relax. So the hand is about between the shoulder blades, kind of lifting the upper heart area off the floor just a little more gently. Then you just a slight back bend. The elbow is down toward your waist and pulling in toward your body as much as it can so that, that hand can slip up into your shoulder blade maybe a little bit more. So just breathe and relax there. That's too much on your shoulder. Bring your hand further down towards your waist, of course. And just relax. Deep breath. Exhale, tension. And then roll slightly to the side again if you need to. And release that arm back into corpse position. Relaxation. Just feel that side a little bit more activated. So yeah, we're gonna do the other side. So again, roll into the side as much as you need to. Bend your elbow, bring those fingertips up towards your neck, palm coming down onto the floor, rolling your body back down, elbow moving over to the side as much as it needs to to make that comfortable for you. And again, just pressing your back down onto your hand. And again, fingertips up toward that shoulder blade and neck area as much as it feels comfortable for you. Letting that heart get a little bit more opening and feeling that shoulder this time on the opposite side, getting a little bit more open right there across the top of your body. 
Take a few breaths, again, just relaxing into it. Letting those fingertips move higher up between your shoulder blades or even your whole palm between your shoulder blades if that works for you. Take a few breaths, just exhale. Whenever you feel really tight across the chest and shoulders, this is a really good one to do as you're in bed relaxing, is just allow that whole body to sink into that mattress beneath you onto the hand. And in fact, we can do it with both hands together, which we're going to do next. So go ahead and roll to the side or just release that arm back down. Again, feeling across the shoulders how that is working, what's changing for you as you release that hand from its position. And then we're going to, again, put both hands under you in the same way. So we're going to either roll to one side and then roll to the other side and bring both hands up into that shoulder blade area. Or you can do it individually, one hand at a time again. So again, bringing those hands in, kind of <clears throat> rotate the heels of the or base of the palms in toward each other as much as you can, bringing those elbows toward your waist, if that works for you. Or just do what's right for your body, remember, personal practice. So shoulders coming down toward the floor, elbows coming down toward the floor as well. And again, just relaxing. Heart high. Shoulders releasing tension. Just letting the weight of your body sink onto your hands. Feeling that upper body being a little bit of a back bend as you get that support underneath you. Deep breaths, exhaling tension. Just allow your hands and wrists to do what they need to do. If you're on one side, switch to the other side. And again, just relax. So whichever position you're in, just always doing what's right for your body. Just allowing that heart to be open, shoulders dropping toward the floor, elbows in toward your sides and toward the mat. Deep breaths. Exhale, tension. And again, when you're ready to release, just rolling to the sides or not, and coming back into corpse position, dropping those shoulders down, shoulder blades pushing down towards your waist. I just feel that heart open a little bit more across the top of your chest. Take a few breaths there and relax. And then we did this the other day, but you may not remember it. And you do the fish. So this is a really opening across the upper heart area. So take your hands, palms down, bring them in under your hips, under your buttocks, palms toward the floor, fingers spread, elbows out slightly. And then we're gonna push into the elbows and come up and bring those elbows toward each other as much as you can underneath your body. And then rotate, looking up, lifting your heart, push your head back, and we're gonna drop the crown, the top of your head down toward the floor behind you. Again, lifting that heart into a nice back bend. So coming as far as you'd like, you can stay with your head lifted, supported on your elbows, or you can bring your head all the way down to the floor. And if you want, you can release those hands and elbows from underneath you. And bring them up, heel of the palm into your ribs, fingertips into prayer position up toward the ceiling. So the top of your head crown is supporting you, and you're arching from your sitting bones to the crown. If that didn't work and you want to get out, push your elbows down, chin toward your chest, and roll your head back onto the floor. Otherwise, another breath or two. If you like that, you can also extend your hands up and then back down to your heart. And again, if your hands are up, bring the elbows down, press into the arms and hands, and elbows, lift your head, tuck your chin in, start at the bottom of your spine, 
roll your body back down onto the floor. Take a moment there, sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down, heels in toward your hips, knees toward your heart, lift your head, bring your forehead toward your knees, get a good stretch where we were in the back end. And then bringing your head down and your arms out to T position, keep those knees right above your hips and we'll do our twist, hands, palms up or down and just throw your knees over to the side Turn your head the other way. And again, just breathe and relax into that twist as much as you like. Remember, knees down or toes down for support or put a pillow under your knees or your lower back twist as gently as you need to. Head turning for that neck area twist, so don't go too far if you've got neck issues. And just shoulders down for your middle back twist as much as your body was willing to do. Take a breath, just relax. And of course, heels toward your hips and roll onto your back so we can twist the other way. And again, put your feet on the floor and straighten out if you need to. And then knees right above your hips, roll them over to that opposite side, head turning toward the arm now behind you. And again, maximize or minimize into your twist the way that's right for you. Pillows, padding, wherever they need or not. Always personal choice. Take a few breaths, let the shoulders come down, let the head turn as much as you like, and just relax in your twist. Deep breath. And of course, when you're ready to release, those heels come toward your hips and roll onto your back again. Bring your feet to the floor and slide them out and come into corpse position for our relaxation. Hands, palms up away from your sides and just let those shoulders again open across the heart, pressing down toward the floor. Shoulder blades toward your waist. So a little natural curve under that lower back as you come into your position. And then just relax, let your whole body just sink into that surface beneath you. Deep breath, softening all the torso, all the spine, let the ribs sink. Let your whole body grow heavy, just deepen into that earthbound connection. As your body softens and sinks, just let go of any awareness of your body. Everything soft and relaxed. And as your body sinks into the earth embrace, just let thoughts of your body dismiss from your mind. And as those thoughts go, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go as well. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Let those thoughts away as easily as you want. Let your mind just flow freely. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just thoughts flowing in and out like your breath. And as your body softens and sinks, and your mind frees and floats. Just allow everything to release from your awareness. Focusing your awareness inward on that peace deep within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. And just be peace.
And keep relaxing as long as you have time for today. Or if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, begin breathing more deeply, drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you begin breathing more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. And when you're ready for your final yoga pose of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, heels towards your hips, and knees towards your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels good for your appreciative yoga hug today. Letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body feels for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, rolling to the side, sitting back up, and getting ready for ahead, whatever's ahead in your day today. Thanks for joining me.